Hello, YouTube. Zach and Fiendacanite here. And a while back, I uh, made this little vase out of a kombucha bottle. And um, it's made of... Well, this material is made of hot glue and nail polish. Just because I couldn't find a paint that was sturdy enough. And uh, I've had this thing so long, it's kind of falling apart a little bit. Uh, I'll fix that later. But anyway, uh, I was noticing the content seems... Uh, bit boring, really. Uh, not, not that there's anything wrong with roses. I love the fuck out of them. I even painted one of these uh, entirely black for a hat once, but uh, I'm going to do something a little more uh, Alice in Wonderland type inspired. Maybe black or white paint. Maybe. I bought a lot of these little white things here, so uh, especially what with how short they are. It might be uh, the plastic. These are all plastic roses, by the way, if you couldn't tell already. And, um, I looked up and down all over Michael's looking for one of these without glitter on it just because it's that time of the year right now. And, uh, yeah, these look to be the only non-seasonal stuff there uh, since glitter and blood would look a little too much on these. And uh, what with how short they are, not only are they going to look better in the vase uh, as opposed to something this over the top here, which is kind of a bit much to me at least. Uh, but funny thing about these is uh, I was looking at them the other day. It looks like I caught this off of a bride. Yeah, a face like this getting married. No thanks, bitch. So as per usual, it's the same kind of uh, fabric paint that I usually use for especially all my t-shirts and everything. Tulip fabric paint. And this one's the slick stuff, so that's how you know it's going to look wet once it's, even once it's dry. By the way, um... I spell it with a C and a K in case you were wondering. You'll do fine for a test. Pardon me. And just a touch of the black. Now the initial idea was inspired not just by Alice in uh, Wonderland, but I actually saw this picture of a rose, a regular red rose, from a 69 Eyes lyric video to Lost Without Love. Maybe I'll show the image uh, here. And, uh, yeah, it, it was about this much. It was very minimal for the most part, if I can recall correctly. But uh, only now am I realizing that it's a white rose and uh, it's red stains and not black. Uh, this is looking a little less like 69 Eyes and more like some uh, hopeless little beta incel simp just blew his brains out and it landed on the bouquet. Yeah. Grab me a river. You don't need them. Now, that's looking terrific, but just out of curiosity, I want to paint a black one now. Eh, it's different, but... I don't know, the red one just looks better. Or I just needed some time to paint off camera because that's usually the best effect for me for some reason. Oh, and be sure that when you're filming yourself painting the roses, that you're almost always out of frame. That's the most important part of this tutorial. Much better. If you like, please like. Feel free to share your obscure little thoughts in the comments below as well as to share the video itself. Subscribe if you wish to see more. Don't forget to hit the bell if you do. And as always, thank you so very much for watching, and I love you all.